Hey guys, my name is Abhigat and in this video I'll be creating a Java program to accept three numbers and find out whether they are a Pythagorean triplet or not. So before we start with the program, I'll just explain what a Pythagorean triplet even is. So this is basically when three numbers follow the Pythagoras theorem, which is basically a square plus b square is equal to c square. So there'll be three uh, numbers. And if the first two numbers, like the square of the first two numbers is equal to the square of the third number, then that follows the Pythagoras theorem. And that is what we need to find in this program. So I'll just give you some examples of uh, numbers that are uh, a Pythagorean triplet. Firstly, three, four and five are a Pythagorean triplet because three square, which is nine plus Four square which is 16 is equal to 25 which is the same as 5 square okay so in this case 3 square plus 4 square does equal to 5 square similarly in these three numbers 6 8 and 10 uh, these also follow the Pythagoras theorem so 6 square is 36 plus 8 square is 64 uh, when you add these two it will give you 100 which is 10 square and uh, that again follows um, the Pythagoras theorem. Uh, however, there are obviously certain numbers that don't follow the theorem and so are not Pythagorean triplets. For example, 5, 10 and 13. 5 square is 25. 10 square is 100, uh, which equals to 125. However, the third number in this case is 13. Uh, and the square of 13 is equal to 169. And uh, that clearly doesn't add up, uh, which is why this number is not a Pythagorean triplet. So yeah, that's basically the introduction to Pythagorean triplets. Now we'll start with the code. So I've already written uh, the basic structure that we follow in every video. First the import java.util.scanner, then uh, class, then public static void main, followed by scanner s equals to new scanner, which is the line we need for taking input so first I will uh, write int and I'll create three different variables so a then b and c uh, and each of these will be used to store the three input values we'll get from the user now to get those input values I'll have to write system dot out dot print ln and over here within the quotation I will say enter the value for a semicolon and here I will write a is equal to sc dot next int so next int is used to get user input in the form of an integer now uh, this is for val for the value of a I'll just copy this and paste it twice here I'll just change this to b and um, here I'll change it to c so um, now you can see that we've got the three input values from the user. Now we can start writing the if condition. So here I'll write if and in the brackets I will write the Pythagoras theorem if a square plus b square double equal to c square. Okay so to write a square I'll have to uh, write a multiplied by a plus b multiplied by b double equal to c multiplied by c. Now the curly brackets and here I'll just write my print statement system dot out dot print ln and here I'll say Pythagorean triplet. Okay, so if this condition is true, then I will print out Pythagorean triplet. Otherwise, I will say it's not a Pythagorean triplet. So I'll write else. I'll just copy this print statement and I'll just add not Pythagorean triplet uh, and now the code is pretty much done I will just compile this and uh, check the output so void main enter the value for a so as you know 3 4 and 5 are a Pythagorean triplet so I'll just input those for an example so 3 then 4 and 5 okay yes so it shows that it's a Pythagorean triplet I'll try another example um, 6 8 and 10 again it's a Pythagorean triplet now uh, let me input some random values so 8 5 and 15 it's not a Pythagorean triplet so yeah that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you learned something new please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and see you later bye